What's up, everybody? Welcome to my classroom in a hoodie. And it's e-learning day again. So, uh, since we don't have Arduinos, and I love playing with Arduinos, we're going to do some simulations with Arduinos using Tinkercad. If you didn't do yesterday's assignment, it shows you how to get into this uh, Tinkercad creating a, an, an account, and then also joining our class. So, I want to just do a quick recap on the blink, and then we're going to start the potentiometer. So, if you open up your blink again, and then you're like, hey, I want to mess around with it again. So, you got yours to just blink on and off for a second. And let's jump in the code here. And they've got some block coding. If you switch the block coding, let's stop the simulation, and I want to get into the text code. Let's just hit continue. All right, so this code is super awesome because you can just copy and paste it right into an Arduino. So let's change this a little bit. Let's go from 1,000 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds. Quick, how many seconds is that? Let's hit start and time it. Ready? Good job. You got a half second. All right. So you can see it's blinking on, or on and off, and I'm going to hit this stop, and I'm going to drop it down even more. I'm going to put it at 10 milliseconds. All right. So I can get in here, and yes, I know it says wait 10 milliseconds, and it's behind the slashes, which means it's just comment code. Um, so it really doesn't matter. But, you know, just for because of, I want to teach the right way, we want to change the comment too, just in case. So what's going to happen when I hit this start simulation? It's going to be on 50% of the time and off 50% of the time, right? So it's going to be 10 and 10, but it's going to be milliseconds. So it's going to be really fast. So when I hit start simulation, check this out. It does not look like it is turning off. It is on half the time that it's off, but it's blinking so fast that you cannot see this. And this is one of my favorite activities, just getting the Arduinos out, building this, and then showing students this, but also taking your camera, like your phone, putting it on slow motion and hovering over that. Um, you can see it actually is blinking. And so this is a good way to save 50% of your electric bill. All right, so enough of that. Don't forget to add your name to it. Let's jump into the potentiometer. So we're doing digital outputs with that blink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit create a new circuit. So let's go over here to Arduino and we wanna grab an Arduino with a breadboard. There we go. Now I'm just gonna keep the colors. I like the fact that it just grounds and powers everything. That is so nice. Um, let's grab some basic things here. All right. Another thing that I'm going to share with you guys is my favorite intro to Arduino's website. So it is uh, by SparkFun, and it has great tutorials with awesome illustrations, perfect explanations, good examples of different types of boards and how to do this. So it also has the code that you can copy and paste. We're going to jump down to experiment number. This link is shared with you guys. So here's a couple things that we're going to need. We are going to build this right here um, and copy the code in just a little bit. So let's go back and look at what all we need. Here we go. We need uh, one LED. We need some 330 resistors, some wires, and a potentiometer. All right. So let's jump over here. Go to basic. All right. Here we go. So we're in components and we're hitting basic. So let's grab a light. Let's grab a resistor. And what did we say? We need it 330. And let's grab a potentiometer. We're going to put this right in the ground. Um, we are going to also put this right over here. So 
Um, it looks like I'm working out of row five. I've got the resistor put in put in here. I've got the LED here, so I've got the anode side that will connect with a wire, and we're gonna go to pin 13. All right, let's move this up here, and just to kind of keep things even, I'm gonna go uh, right out of 20, 21, and 22, just to kind of keep things simple. So the far left is going to go to um, our ground. The pin 21, this middle one for the potentiometer, is going to go to A0. So this is actually um, going to go to A0, and it is going to be our um, analog. So everything down here, and you can actually read it right there, it says analog, and everything up here was digital. So our light is digital, right? And we were blinking it on or off. There was no kind of in-between there. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the light to blink faster or slower based off of how we turn this potentiometer. And then we're going to take pin number 22 and move that to um, power. And so I'm, I'm going to actually change this to red. And I'm going to change this one to black to keep me organized. All right. So now that we've got it all built, I want you to go into this experiment, reading a potentiometer, scroll on down, and copy the code. I do want to say we will be building some with some code, but at this very beginning, I want to show you that a lot of code already exists, and we can easily modify it to make it our own. And so this is going to be one of those examples. Later on in the school year, we'll make and build our own code as we make and build our own Arduino stuff. So here we go. We're going to hit code, and we want to make sure that we're in the text. Go ahead and paste your text uh, and code into here. And a couple things I want to point out is, first of all, you want to make sure that your sensor pin is A0. So that's our sensor pin right there. That's the middle of the potentiometer. The other thing I want to point out is that your LED is reading on 13, which it is. One thing that is jumping off to me is the colors of this right here. Orange, orange, yellow, I know, just from experience, is not 330. And as I click on that, it thing jumps up and it says kilo ohms. So just to kind of show you real quick that if I hit start simulating and I try and spin this, nothing's happening right there. Or maybe, I guess it is, but it's really faint. So let me stop the simulation real fast and change this to just ohms. And you can see, there we go, orange, orange, brown, cool. So then start simulation. All right, that's quite a bit brighter. And let's check and see if this potentiometer works. So as I spin it to the right, the light is a little bit slower. And as I spin it to the left, it gets a lot faster. Cool, if you've got your LED, it doesn't matter the color. All right, now that we're almost done, uh, last couple things is make sure that you grab an annotation and you put your name on it. If you got your name right there, don't forget to go up here where it has something random and give this a title. We're gonna call this potentiometer. Another cool thing I wanna show you about this program is this right here. This is the component list. So once you make something super duper awesome, you can easily order these parts or hopefully one day we come back to school and you can build this. Thanks for watching and make sure you fill out the attendance sheet. See ya.